Hi everyone, my name is Tori and I am part of the customer success team here in the Ames office. Today we're going to be going over feeding with the Scale app. So to start, we'll go over a couple settings that a lot of people like to look at um, when they're getting started. So number of feed deliveries a day, this defaults to the number two, um, but you can change it to up to four deliveries per day to each pin. Um, if you want to see the group and the head count in each pin, you'll want to change it to the spelled out versions of the number of feed deliveries per day rather than the default version. So for now, we'll just change it to number two. And then a lot of people also like to look at the delivery and scale app weights. So um, some people like to do it to the nearest one. Majority of people just do it to the nearest 10. So it's kind of producer opinion there. Um, but next we'll go over the delivery tab. So if any of your pens aren't placed in a load, you'll see up here, you can click on that and see which pens need to be placed in a load and then what ration they're assigned to. So to start, we'll just add um, pen seven and then they're assigned to the cow's ration. So you'll click add load and then you'll do add pen. So your pen seven and then you'll select your drop, just drop one. And then it'll pop up what feed calls they all need for which ingredients and then their target that they need fed for that drop. And then you'll save that. So here you can still see that one needs placement. It's our pen three and then here's the ration it needs. Um, none of our other pens have this ration assigned to it so we'll have to create a new load. So again we'll go to add load, pen three, and then select the drop. All right, now that we got that done, um, another thing you can do too is if you want to change your pen five and pen four ration before you feed for that day, you can just change it in the delivery screen. So we'll just change it to the ration three low hay and it'll adjust. Um, you can also edit this too and change the pen order. So if you want to feed pen four before pen five, you'll just click these three dots and change it there and you'll save that. And if you want to go to rations, if you don't like the order that this, um, these ingredients are displayed in, we'll go to the rations tab and we'll go to our three low hay ration. And if you want to feed, say your balancer first, you'll just drag it up, then your hay second, and then you'll save it. So if you go back to the delivery tab, you can see that your balancer is first now and then your hay is second. Another thing, um, if you want your load three to be your load one, you can reorder that. So you'll just press that reorder button and then you'll click and drag those three dots and make your pen seven your first load now. And then just a second, we are gonna um, go over how to feed with the scale app. So make this bigger. All right, so when you're ready to feed with the scale app, you'll go to the scale up version of the app. You'll press that select button of whichever load you're wanting to feed, and then you'll press the load button and then your ingredients are displayed among the bottom. You'll also wanna make sure your scale head is connected. Um, so our first ingredient that we need to load is silage. So you'll just keep loading until you hit that target. And then once you hit the target, you'll select hay um, as our next ingredient, and then you'll go and load hay. And then once you hit that target, you'll hit that confirm button in the upper left-hand corner. And then when you wanna go deliver, you'll hit that overview button or that delivery button, sorry. So once you're in that feed wagon, you can hit delivery and go to your, deliver your pen one. And then once your pen one ha target has been met, you'll go to your next pen that you need to drop off um, the rest of that feed to.
And then once again, once that target's been met um, and all your feed's been delivered, you'll hit that confirm button in the upper left-hand corner. Um, that'll get your information stored and sent to the cloud and automatically recorded for you. Um, so that's kind of how you'll feed with the scale app. And then another thing too is if um, for some reason a load didn't record or you need to manually enter in a load, you'll just click edit in the web view of the portion of the app. Um, and you can just manually type in the amounts you loaded. For now, I'll just do the target amounts. I know it's always not spot on, but I'll just go with it for now. And then you can also type in your fed amounts. And then you'll save that, and then that'll automatically be stored in your sheets, and you can charge out based on those delivered amounts. Um, you'll notice that now that we fed that load, you cannot change that load. But we always recommend to wait until the next morning. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer success team at 515-337-2187. And stay tuned. Our next webinar um, is in two weeks, and we're going to be going over the animal health features of the app. Um, and also, if you guys can think of anything else that you want to see videos on, drop it in the comments. We're always looking for suggestions. Thanks, guys.